Hello guys, you're welcome back to Bisco Fashion and you are welcome to this tutorial video as well. You are welcome. So in this video, we are going to be drafting the basic bodice pattern. The basic bodice pattern and this are the material we are going to be using in drafting this pattern. I have my ruler, my pattern master, I have my ammo comb, my tape rule my pattern paper, my marker, and my measurement. So the measurements we are going to be working with are my shoulder, shoulder to bust measurement. That is the measurement you take from your shoulder tip to your bust point. I have my shoulder to hips measurement, the shoulder to waist, for the front and shoulder to waist for the back which is the half length i have my bust fan measurement which is from one bust point to another bust point and i have my bust circumference waist circumference and hips circumference so let's just get started already as you can see i have my paper on the table already and I have some lines rule out on this paper which I will be explaining what it is all about so this paper I have divided it into two this side will be for my front block while this side will be for my back block so I cut this paper the largest circumference of my measurements with the largest circumference so in this bus I have 18 and a half inches so my hips is actually 36 and if you divide it by 2 it will give you 18 so I have I have half of an inch extra so and that is it and here this line here is our shoulder line this is our shoulder line, that's our starting point. You can also start yours from, from the hop here. But for the sake of this video, I want everything to be clear. I want it to be understandable. So that's why I'm ruling all these lines. And here is our center back. Let me label that. This is our center back and this is our center front. So hope you understand what all these lines mean now. So without, to avoid any confusion and misunderstanding, I want us to work on the front block first. So I want us to start from the front block. So let's just leave the, the back for now. Let's start with the front pattern. So the first thing I'm going to be doing here is to mark out my vertical measurement which so the first thing is my shoulder to bust shoulder to bust points which is 10.5 shoulder to bust shoulder to waist 15 and shoulder to M line 24 so I'll mark it here as well so that I can connect to form a straight line. Shoulder to bust 10.5, shoulder to waist 15, and shoulder to hip 24, which is our hem line. So I'll connect together to form a straight line and I will label it so that you can understand very well so this is my waistline and this is the hem line i actually stop this at the high hips i don't want it to be long like that so this is our bust line this is waistline and this is hip line slash hem line so the next thing I will be doing on this front block is to mark out my neck width and my neck depth, which will be three inches by three inches. 
that is actually the standard three inches neck width and three inches neck depth so to 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 make the curve i would like to draw out i would like to draw out a rectangular shape so that i'll be able to make the curve very well let me check this also so i'll be doing the okay three inches as well so make sure i'm doing the right thing here so that is it now i want to make the neck curve and i'll be doing that with my hammer curve hope you can see me very well so that is it that is it that is the neck so the next thing i'll be doing is to infuse my shoulder measurement my shoulder is 14 divided by 2 is 7 7 inches so here i also want to make the shoulder slope to make the shoulder slope for the front pattern i will come down by one inch one inch so that is it that is the shoulder slope and here let me make the ammo curve so here you input your arm side measurement to get the arm side measurement, you can divide your bust circumference by 6 plus 1.5 inches. Or you can also take the measurement directly on your client. But here, my bust circumference divided by 6 is 6 plus 1.5. That will be 7.5 inches. So that is it. That is it, 7.5 inches. I'm trying to impute the shoulder measurement here so that the line can be straight downward. As you can see, this dot is a little bit more than 7. So I have to maintain that 7 from the shoulder line to this place so that I can have a straight line. So here is our chest line. Here is our chest line. So the next thing I will do on this front pattern is to make my hammer curve. And to do that, I have to divide this line by the hammer line, which is 7.5. I have to divide it by 2. I have to divide it by 2. So let me divide it on the table. This is it. So this is the midpoint of this handful line. So on this midpoint, I will go in by 1 inch. 1 inch to make the ammo curve. So after that, I will roll it up here with a straight line and with my arm or curve, I will connect it down to the chest line. So this is it. You can see that it is very neat and beautiful. So hope you are following me. Hope you are following me. Hope you are following me. So here I want to make the dark line. So to make the dark line, you see, I will have to divide my bust span by 2. My bust span measurement is 7. So if I divide it by 2, it will give me 3.5. So I will mark 3.5 on the bust line, the waist line, and on the hip line. That is the 3.5, my bust span measurement divided by 2. So, please follow me here. On the bust line, I will come down by 1 inch to make another dot here. 1 inch. 
from here to here 3.5 and from here to here one inch on the bust line this is my bust point so i have to come down by one inch and as well on the hip line i have to go up by two inches two inches i have to go up by two inches to, for, to create my that line hope you are following me and hope you understand what i'm doing here so this is my that line and how did i arrive here let me we explain my bust pan measurement is seven inches and i divide it by two which is 3.5 so 3.5 i mark the 3.5 on my bust line on my waistline and as well as my hip line so i go up here by two inches and i came down here by one inch so that forms my dart line so now impute the dart on this waistline i'll place my table and mark half inch on both sides half inch on both sides and what am i going to do now i will connect this straight up with my ruler and connect this down also so this is it hope you are following me and hope you are getting what i'm doing so this is it this is our dart this is our dart. So, as you can see, we are going gradually. We are making it. The next thing I will do here, the next thing I will do here is to impute my measurement. My measurement. So, on my chest line, I will impute my bust circumference divided by 4. So my bust circumference is 36, 36 divided by 4 will give me 9 inches. So the bust circumference, you impute it on your chest line and not on the bust line. Please take note of that. My bust circumference divided by 4 is 9 inches and this is it. So this is the mark. My waist circumference divided by 4 is Seven inches, seven inches. My waist circumference is twenty-eight divided by four is seven inches. But I will not mark that seven inches directly. Remember, I impute half of an inch on both sides of this line as our dart intake, and this is going. Remember, we are eliminating this, so I will need to add this one inch dart intake. So to now make it eight. 8 inches so this is my 8 inches here so on the waist on the hip line as well my hip measurement is 36 divided by 4 is 9 so I'll mark the 9 inches hope you are getting me so I will connect the dots together from the chest line to the waist line with a straight foot and from the waistline to the hip line with a curve with a curve so that's it let me let me blend this place so that we don't have a sharp edge at that place so that is it that is it i've already imputed my measurements so we are almost done with our front pattern we are almost done the next thing I will do now is to impute my underarm dart. My underarm dart. So to impute this underarm dart, I will need to make, I will need to calculate something. I will need to calculate the difference between my back length and my front length. Remember, if you are making a top, your 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 back and your front length should not be 
to not be the same entirely like that. So if you notice and if you study your body structure very well, you know that the, the back is not is not really as long as the front due to some shape and some curves and everything like that. So the difference between my front and my back half length is one inch, just one inch. We have some people that have two inches or whatsoever. So my own is just one inch. And so that one inch, so that the difference will not be visible, people will not notice, I will put it on my underarm that. So to do that on my bust line, on my bust line, I will mark one inch down. Please follow me very well. This is my bust line. So I'm marking one inch down. And on my bust point, remember this is my bust point. My bust pan measurement, seven divided by two, three and a half. This is my bust point. So on my bust point, I will go in by one inch as well. So on my bust point, I came in by one inch and on my bust line, I came down by one inch. So I will connect these dots together to form my underarm dart. So this is my underarm dart. This is my underarm dart. And by doing that, we have actually eliminated the difference between our front and our back length. So this is the front pattern. This is the front pattern as you can see. I hope you understand everything I did here. This is the front pattern. So now let's go to the back pattern. As you can see, this is my center back. This is my center back. And the first thing I will also be doing here is to input, is to input my measurement. Is to input my measurement. So now, you know I told you that the difference between my back measurement and my front measurement is 1 inch. So my front is 24, while my back measurement will be 23 inches. So this is 23. And here, I will also mark 23 so that we have a straight line. So my bust line is 10.5. 10.5. Ten point five, and my weight is fourteen. My back half length is fourteen. So that is it, and I will be connecting to form a straight line. <coughs> Hope you understand me very well. You understand and hope you are following because I would like you to drop your comment, your reaction at the end of this class. So that is it. That is it. This is my post line, my waistline, and my hip line. So the next thing I will do is to Impute the neck measurement. So the neck width will be three inches, while the neck depth one inch. One inch. That is for the back. That is for the back. And I'm making the curve now. So that is it. The next thing is to impute my shoulder measurement, which is seven inches. And I will come down by half of an inch. Now I came down here by one inch at the front pattern, but at the back pattern, I will come down by half of an inch. So to make my <coughs> arm o my arm o curve, I have, I will have to take this measurement. My chest line is eight and a half inches from the starting point. 
is eight and a half. So I will have to mark that eight and a half here as well. It must be equal. It must be equal. Okay, it actually falls on that seven. I want to make sure I'm connecting a straight line. So I want to make sure I'm connecting a straight line. So this is it. This is it. So let me rule that line across our chest line across. So that is it. That is my shoulder slant. So the next thing I'll be doing is to make the ammo curve. Just like I did here, I will divide this line by two. So this is the midpoint of this line. And I will come in by half of an inch. Remember at the front, I came in by one inch or the back pattern by half of an inch. Please just take notice of everything I'm doing. Just take notes. Just take notes. So this is it. This is it. This is the back half hole. So the next thing I'll be doing here is to make the dark line. Just like I did here, my bust form measurement divided by two, three and a half. So let me mark that three and a half, three and a half. So here, on this back pattern, I don't need to come down by half, by one inch on the bust line, just like I did here. So I don't need to do that. But here, but here I have to go up by two inches. On the hip line, I have to go up by two inches, just like I did at the front. So I'm connecting it together, and that is my that line. To make the that also, to make the that also, I'll be marking half inch on both sides, and I'll be connecting the dots together, just like I did on the front pattern just like I did on the front pattern so the next thing I'll do here is to increase my measurement my bust measurement from my chest line which is 9 inches my waist measurement which is 7 inches plus the 1 inch that intake 8 inches and my hip measurement nine inches as well. So I'm going to connect the dots together here with the straight line and here with a curve and here with the curve. So what is the, the last but not the least that I will do here on this waistline, I will come in by half of an inch. And what is the purpose of this? I'm trying to eliminate the back bulge, the kind of bulge that we used to have at the back of our dress. So we can actually eliminate this if it's possible. So as you can see, you know our back is not entirely straight. So that's why we're having all this kind of pulse at the back of our dress. But if you are trying to use this method, you will discover that you won't have that kind of puff again. So this is actually going out. So our back, we have this kind of this kind of slopey, so uh, slopey shape at the waistline at the waistline which will make it to eliminate the bulge so here I think we are done now oh yes we are done with our front and our back pattern so we are done drafting the basic bodice pattern so as you can see 
The difference between the front and the back length is one inch. So you may be wondering that after making this dress, it will be longer than this. So no, it won't be longer. So this one inch difference is already here. So by the time you take out this dart, you discover that they have the same length. You discover that they have the same length. So you don't have to worry about the difference in the length. You don't have to worry after taking out this dart, everything will be so perfect and, and nice. Everything will be so perfect and nice. So we have come to the end of today's video. I hope you enjoy and I hope you understand every bit of the video. So I would like you to give this video a thumbs up and I would like to hear from you. Please drop your comments. Help me to share this video and subscribe to this channel so that you will, you will be able to be notified whenever I post videos. And you should also turn on the notification bell. So I want to say thank you. Thank you for watching. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. See you in the next video. Bye.